Have you ever been in that situation where you hear another coach or another runner telling you that they're going to go out and do a run and then maybe do some strides afterwards and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have no idea what they're talking about. Well, I'm going to dispel the myths around strides, tell you how easy they are and how good they're going to be for your running in about two minutes flat, but first you have to come out for a run with me. All right, let's just put any fear of the word strides to bed right now and tell you what it actually is. It is simply running at higher paces for short periods of time, and if it's done right, it can really improve your overall pace when you're running and your mechanical efficiency. No brainer. So the other thing to know about strides is they're not a standalone session. Just think of them as an add-on or a bolt-on to a session. So like when we do drills, we go out and do them before the run. Strides you tend to do after a run and it tends to be after easy base runs like I'm going through now because they're quite intense. You probably don't want to tag them onto the end of a, an interval session because that's running hard enough anyway. Yeah. All right, that's the run done. Let's go and do the strides. Ooh, right. So you might notice straight after my run, I'm not really out of breath and that's a good thing. I had a nice aerobic recovery run. So now I can go and give it my everything in these strides and I'm only gonna do three or four sets, no more than that. When I get to the field, I'll explain exactly what I'm about to do. So the first thing I'm looking for is an area of land that's flat and I can run at quite a high pace for 20 to 30 seconds across. And this seems like a nice fit here. All right, it's slightly uphill, very gradually behind me, but it'll do. Now, what I'm aiming to do is run for 20 to 30 seconds at pretty much my hardest one kilometer or one mile pace. The pace that I could think I could run a kilometer at the hardest that essentially, or like I say, mile. It doesn't really matter, but it's a lot harder than your 5K pace, but it's not quite your 100 meter sprint pace. And all I'm gonna do while I'm doing it is I'm gonna focus solely on my technique and turning my legs over fast. That's what strides are. And I'll tell you why they're really beneficial in a minute, but I'm gonna do my first set. Okay, that's the first set done. Really just try to think about using my arms, driving my legs, turning my feet over, keeping nice and controlled and relaxed. The key also to strides is the recovery time in between. Each set has to be good enough that you're fresh and good to go the next time because this is not aerobic training. This is just training your mechanical efficiency. So the quality of the three to four reps has to be of the highest. So don't be afraid to take two, three, four minutes to recover before you go again. All right, pretty certain my technique's not gonna be as good on this one because I'm gonna try and take you with me on the GoPro, but we'll give it a go. Okay. All right, I'm trying to keep controlled, relaxed, turn my feet over fast, keep my head up and facing forward. Oh. All right, let's talk why strides are really beneficial. And there's three major reasons. The first one is that it'll improve your biomechanical efficiency at pace. And what I mean by that is when you're doing strides and you're running for just 25 to 30 seconds, really concentrating on technique, if you do it enough times, eventually your body will remember when you're running in a race, what it feels like to run at that pace and how you want to run. So you will get faster and more efficient in a race. Secondly, it's a really good way of just injecting some speed and pace into your training, especially if you're training for longer distance like half marathon or marathon. You wanna keep your sessions interesting, but also you wanna remind your body what running at pace and speed feels like. And this is that perfect way of doing it without overburdening your legs by doing lots and lots of interval sessions. <sighs> and finally, and maybe most importantly, if you're a new runner, is that these are the perfect introduction into running at pace. So maybe before you do interval sessions or you get stuck into a lot of interval sessions, just add some strides at the end of your sessions for a few weeks or months until you're confident at running at pace. Then you can go into interval sessions. It's a really good gateway, a really good halfway house. So hopefully that has dispelled any of the myths or worries about the term strides. It is really just running fast for a short period of time. Now all you've got to do is go out there and do it. If you want to learn more about being the best runner you can be, then maybe check out this playlist here for some more nuggets to help.